Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today on Como Live, brought to you by the Legacy Amendment. My name is Mike and I'm a senior keeper here at the Como Zoo. Uh, today I have a really cool animal to show you. Um, we actually just got him out on exhibit during this pandemic that we've been having. And so if and when you, have, when you come back to visit us, you get to see this really cool animal. Today I have a emerald tree boa. Now this exhibit here is kind of by our Paku tank, our big uh, walkway where you kind of go into this hut looking thing. So you can find them in our tropical encounters exhibit. Um, now emerald tree boas, they actually are found in South America in the Amazon rainforest. And they can get up to, well, there's a couple different species, but we could say about on average six foot or so. There are some, uh, the larger species has potential to get up to about eight foot. Uh, but as you can see, he's sitting there. Oh, it looks like the cricket has moved off his head. And the reason I say that, if you, in case the cricket pops back up, is there are actually dart frogs in here in this enclosure with him as well. And so you might see a couple of them hopping around. Um, I don't see them at the moment. But no, the dart frogs are not the food source. These guys in the wild will eat lizards, uh, potential birds, and small mammals. Here, the dart frogs, they're not poisonous um, in captivity because of the food we give them. And, uh, but it's also instinctual for this snake not to eat, it, eat the frogs. So no worries there. But this is a, a really good exhibit. It's really up close and personal. The emerald tree boas like to spend their, uh, the majority of their time, they are arboreal, meaning they spend life in the trees. So they'll hang out in shrubs and in treetops, uh, ambushing prey. They are nocturnal, and uh, so most of their hunting is done at night. They like to sit kind of coiled up on branches and during the day, and then they'll kind of go into a S-shaped position when they get into hunting mode. But this they're really really strong they got a really good prehensile tail that allows them to actually strike off of their perching location and kind of dangle and they are a constricting snake so then they will also wrap around their prey item and un squeeze them until they are, are dead and then they'll swallow them down whole now a really cool uh, feature when they are um, uh, hunting they'll actually grab onto their prey and their teeth are actually recurved which means basically they're pointing backwards and what this does is actually enables them to hold on to their prey item without the prey getting away. It's kind of like a, a fishing hook, how it has the barb. It just enables uh, them to hold on to the prey. The prey, when it pulls, it can't get away. And just because those teeth are pointed backwards, it just, a lot of snakes have this, features, this feature and it's very, very helpful and beneficial in capturing them, so. But I haven't seen any, there's a dart frog down over there. You might be able to take a peek under there. That's a black and green dart frog. <laughs> but these guys, now I, we got them on uh, a very well ventilated enclosure. That way it's not too stagnant of an air in there. And that way, because they like the high humidity, we just don't want that stagnating air to cause any uh, um, issues. They could potentially get respiratory infections, things like that. Um, now moving into like some of the breeding and things on these guys they're really fascinating they are live bearing animals so they'll breed and then they'll give birth to live young now the most fascinating thing i personally think about these snakes is when they give birth to their babies the babies aren't green like this so they can be red they can be yellow they can be orange and they can be a little bit of mixture of all those colors just depending on the genetics that they have and it's just absolutely fascinating. And with once they hit about three foot or so, um, they'll actually start to do their color change into this green. And it takes time. Every shed, they'll slowly but surely get more green. And it is just an absolute amazing thing if you do like photos over time, just how it changes. And based on that color, you can kind of see why they actually get their name Emerald Tree Bow, just an emerald green color absolutely gorgeous they got these the uh, white spots going down their back some species actually have more white um, and uh, they also have this yellow body but this green pattern allows allows them to blend in perfectly to their surroundings um, most of their prey or their predators are going to be birds um, so they like to hide and camouflage into their surroundings but as far as the conservation aspect they they aren't really they're not endangered or anything but 
because they are in the Amazon rainforest and due to deforestation, um, we like to point out the fact that they are at risk just because of farmland uh, taking over the rainforest and uh, cutting down of all the trees, things like that. So um, this specific species might not be endangered, but there are endangered species that live in the range of this animal um, that are directly affected to what's going on. But they don't necessarily need to eat very often. Uh, here at the zoo, their primary diet is going to be rats or mice, depending on the size of the individual animal. And uh, uh, they get fed, you know, a couple times a month. Uh, they do have a very slow metabolism. And because they are very sedentary and they kind of sit and wait for prey to come to them, they don't need to eat as much. Um, so they're not burning energy and calories, moving around hunting. Um, and just, you know, a two to three meals a month or so is definitely more, more than enough. And if you feed them larger meals, they could go into that one time a month ordeal. But with that, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to get back to them as soon as, as we can. Thanks.